transportation of water and minerals in plants. Like animals, plants also have a mechanism of transportation of mineral solution. This takes place through a system called vascular system. In plants, vascular system consists of two types of conducting tissues. Xylem. Xylem consists of mainly thick and tubular cells forming a pipe-like structure. It conducts water and minerals from the ground to the stems and leaves. Phloem. These are long, thin tubular structures placed one above the other. It conducts food produced in the leaves to the stems, roots, storage parts and reproductive organs. The movement of food substances from the region of synthesis to the region of utilization is called translocation. Thus, during transportation, three processes are involved. 1. Absorption of water and mineral solution. 2. Rise of cell sap. Ascent of sap. 3. Translocation of food material. Absorption of water and minerals. Plants absorb water and mineral salts from the soil with the help of their roots. The solution of water and mineral salts is termed as capillary water and present between the soil particles called pore spaces. Along with water, mineral salts also enter the roots of the plant by the process of osmosis, diffusion and active transport. 1. Osmosis it involves the movement of solvent molecules, water, from a region of their higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. In root hair cell, the cell sap is more concentrated than the surrounding capillary water. Thus, water moves into the root hair cell by the process of osmosis. 2. Diffusion it involves the movement of any molecules, solid, liquid or gas, from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration. 3. Active transport It involves the movement of substances from a less concentrated region by utilizing energy in the form of ATP. Mineral salts are absorbed by the roots through active transport. Rise of cell sap Ascent of sap. In plants, it is an important feature to carry out vital activities which occur through xylem and phloem. Water is absorbed through the roots and conducted to other parts of the plant where it is used for various purposes. The minerals in the form of water solution are also absorbed by the xylem from the soil. Thus, xylem acts as a pipeline for conducting water. The water and mineral solution that is absorbed by the roots and are conducted upwards to the stems, leaves, flowers and other parts of the plant is called ascent or rise of cell sap. Translocation of food material The prepared food material reaches from leaf to different plant organ is called translocation of food material. It is known that phloem cells are involved in the transport of soluble food material from leaves to different plant organs. This movement of food from the phloem cells is bidirectional, that is, food can move up and downwards simultaneously. Activity To show the upward movement of water in plants. Method Take a fresh potted plant of tomato. Cut its shoot near the soil. Fix a glass tube and tighten the connection with a rubber band. Add water in the tube so that the cut surface does not dry up. Add two or three drops of oil to prevent evaporation. Add water in the pot and see to the level of water rising up. This is due to root pressure caused by absorption of water. Result The level of water rises up due to root pressure caused by the absorption of water. This shows the upward movement of water. Activity To prove that, translocation of food material occurs through phloem. Method In a woody stem, all the outer parts, that is, 
phloem is removed in the form of ring or girdle. This includes phloem along with the bark. It is kept moist by keeping wet cloth around the ring. After 2-3 to three days, a swelling is observed just above the ring. This portion of stem swells up due to the accumulation of food material in the tissues. This is because the prepared food by the leaves does not reach below the ring due to removal of phloem. Result, this proves that phloem is essential for the translocation of food material. Transpiration You know that plants absorb a large amount of water from the soil, but the plants do not consume the entire water. Only 2-5% to of the total absorbed water is utilized by the plants. Rest of the water is lost from the aerial parts of the plants in the form of water vapor. Thus, the process in which excess water is lost from the leaves in the form of water vapor is called transpiration. Activity To show that, transpiration occurs through leaves. Method Take a well-watered potted plant on a glass plate and cover it by a dry bell jar. The apparatus is made airtight through Vaseline. After some time, the bell jar becomes misty and a few small droplets will also be seen on the inner surface of the bell jar. Result? This shows water vapor formed during transpiration has condensed on the inner surface of the bell jar in the form of droplets.